Here we go. All right, we have Kopar on the left, and on his left is Mr. Travis Lippert. Uh, so a lot of chatter online that Benita's soft. They haven't played anybody. You got a th you get Cal Preps gave you a 35% chance to win tonight. You guys go in there and just. How how good did it feel to leave that stadium with a that with that win? It felt amazing. That was my, my favorite game I've ever played. Just everything about it, so energetic and fun, and everybody was going, so it was fun. Um, Travis, before I talk about, um, you're also part of the defense, and I was just telling you off camera. I saw the stats, and you guys gave up one net yard rushing. How did you how did you guys hold them in check like that? Um, well, we know what they want to do is pass the ball, so we kind of prepared for that more. But we have we have dogs on the D line get after our linebacker so just come into the ball making plays so travis throws his first pick six of the season right <laughs> yeah but it's all good three touchdowns eight of 11 uh led his team to his ninth consecutive victory travis how satisfying was tonight's win i mean it was a great win i mean we the whole week of practice um all the preparation we put in we knew we knew toronto Oak was a great team and we knew what we had to do to win and we came out we executed and on the scoreboard. So not that you care or follow this, but did you hear kind of the chatter on social media about you guys being soft? Um, you know, it was it's always been around. I was from Laverne that yeah, we're, we're soft, but we knew we knew our identity that we're gonna hit him in the mouth over and over and over again. And we knew that if we just play our style of football that we're gonna come out victorious. So what was more fun, winning or winning convincingly? Winning convincingly. Okay. So I looked at the stats and Joseph Lara had a hell of a game. 177 yards rushing. I think he had a pick six as well. I'm sorry, Noah. Um, can you talk about his effort tonight? Um, I mean, it makes it easy on me. They start loading the box and it makes it easier to pass. And he just like, he took over the game and it was great to watch. Cole, can you talk about how much of, as a sophomore, how much he's done, especially tonight? Oh, Joe has improved in one off season more than anybody I've ever seen. It's so nice playing with him. Just on defense, he's always running to the ball, making plays. and. Uh, as a running back, when I'm blocking for him, I it's my guy, and he's five yards past me, making a guy miss. Real quick, both of you, just one guy each. Who's someone you're super proud of tonight that might not be in the headlines? Whole life, everybody, everybody on the line. Okay, I was gonna say that too, but I'll I'll do two shoutouts: uh, Luis Estrada and Matthew Maharis. The rest of the O-line are dogs. They're dogs, but they battled through some injuries today, okay. and they had really tough assignments. Probably the two best D linemen. And okay, got it.